Well, they are a constant companion these days, but how often are you washing your reusable water bottles? I don't even want to say. Uh -oh. It's hard. Yeah, experts <laughs> say the answer is often not every day. In some cases, your water bottle could actually be making you sick, so it is time to bring in Dr. Frank McGeorge. He is here with the dirty truth about those <laughs> bottles that we're carrying around. Do you do a good job on this? I do actually. Well, yeah, he's a doctor, of course. You know, reusable water bottles, they are definitely better for the planet, but a lot of people assume they don't need a daily scrub since we're only filling them with water. Well, our Pamela Osborne actually asked Metro Detroiters how often they wash their water bottle. About once a week. Well, I use like a stainless steel one, but I probably wash it probably, you know, once a week. Every few days, I think, especially because we use it for the gym. So sometimes, usually I only put water in it, so there's nothing sticky. Every few days definitely seems to be the norm, but that may not be enough to keep mold and bacteria at bay. Everything that touches that water bottle can transmit bacteria. So we put our mouth to the water bottle, we touch it, we lift the straw, we set it down. And so bacteria can really be transferred from any contact that's made. Dr. Mary Ann Smago at the Cleveland Clinic says bacteria and mold thrive in moist environments, including water bottles. You often can't see the germs that may be growing inside, but they can potentially cause you to experience symptoms similar to food poisoning. Those with sensitivities to mold may also experience a flare-up of allergy symptoms. Dr. Semago recommends cleaning your water bottle with soap and hot water after every use and stresses. Just rinsing isn't enough. Water bottles have nooks and crannies, and so we're lifting up straws, we're twisting off caps, um, all of those areas, if they're not removed and washed at the same time, can really harbor bacteria and mold that grows underneath them. And sometimes the mouth of the water bottle is small enough that you might need a wire brush instead because even a dishwasher is not gonna get the right amount of water in there to clean it. So really do have to pay attention to all the moving parts in your water bottle. Now, whether they're made of stainless steel, glass, or plastic, all reusable water bottles actually need to be washed frequently to avoid the buildup of bacteria and mold. It's also important to make sure that you dry them completely before you reassemble them. I'm, so, I'm messing up terribly. Okay, now I get the bacteria, of yeah. course, but I don't get the mold because when I'm like unpacking my kids' lunch boxes and Sometimes mold, I don't understand because there's no food there. So where, right. where's that coming from? So mold actually, interestingly, is actually in the air all around us. It's something that we okay. experience all the time, but it's in very low concentrations and it doesn't really pose much of a health risk. The problem is when you give mold spores time and something to grow in or on, in the right circumstances, even a few mold spores from the air that make their way into your water, they'll multiply. And that's when you see those familiar fuzzy dark patches, uh -oh. usually at the bottom where the water layer has been. He's been in my kitchen. Uh -oh, I think. Uh -oh. Definitely give folks to think make about. Tough. It's fine. Yeah. Well, yeah. Mm. Probably. It won't make you sick. I'm not saying that. Sometimes, well, sometimes it'll make you sick, but sometimes, well, it might make you tough. It might make you tough. So wash it and dry it every day. <laughs> Absolutely. Just add it to my list. Keep it out of those moist places, too. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I do appreciate it, though. Thanks, sure. Doc. Thanks, Doc.